Acts 1, 2. Good afternoon and welcome to Kerr Stadium for this big women's ODAC soccer match between Roanoke College coming in with a record of 8-4-1, and 6-2 and in the ODAC, and Lynchburg College, number 9 in the nation, 12-0-2, and 6-0-2 and and in the ODAC. The starters for uh, Lynchburg in goal, number 99, Audrey Moore, a senior from Clifton, Virginia. At four, the sophomore from North Barrington, Illinois, Dana Nelson, number two. At four, the junior from Huntington Station, New York, number 10, Angela Bosco. A midfielder junior from Lewis, Delaware, number 13, Rachel Sadowski. A midfielder senior from Alexandria, Virginia, number 15, Shelly Hoff. A midfielder freshman from Brambleton, Virginia, number 17, Alexis Jensen. A defenseman senior from Stephen City, Virginia, number 18, Nikki Rhodes. A forward sophomore from Lynchburg, Virginia, and E.C. Glass High School, number 21, Desi Dupoy. And number 22, a forward senior from Chantilly, Virginia, Kristen Melchiori. Lynchburg is coached by Dr. Todd Olson. And your starters for Rono College. In goal, a sophomore from Dunkirk, Maryland, number one, Carolyn Sarbacher, a forward senior from Long Island, New York, number two, Cindy Satura, midfielder, freshman from St. Elgin, Illinois, Ashley Barnes, number five, midfielder, senior from Virginia Beach, Virginia, number seven, Stephanie Perino, a midfielder, forward and defenseman, freshman from Eagle Rock, Virginia, and James River High School, number eight, Heather Reynolds, a forward senior from Springfield, Virginia, number 11, Rebecca Adams. Midfielder senior from Christiansburg, Virginia, number 18, Carmen Graves. Midfielder freshman from Wilmington, Delaware, number 20, Natalie Torres. A defenseman sophomore from Richmond, Virginia, number 22, Pierce Bradner. Defenseman senior from Forest, Virginia, number 23, Jordan May. And a defenseman sophomore from Owning Mills, Maryland, number 24, Sarah Dorrance. And, of course, the... Maroons are coached by Phil Benny. We'll be back in just a moment with the play-by-play -play after the National Anthem. This is Roanoke College Women's Soccer. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7 in Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. Sunday brunch, 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. 
Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. For information or schedules on Valley Vision TV programs, visit us on the Internet at valleyvisiontv.com. Remember, you're watching the Valley's only true local network, Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe. You'll love our award-winning wings. Grill the perfection with your choice of sauce. Only at All Sports Cafe, Roanoke and Salem, where the object is to score great food. Dustin Fonder was one of the best all-around athletes to ever don the Rono College colors. And while his bread and butter was soccer, he was also well-respected, feared, and even disliked by his ODAC opponents on the basketball floor. Perhaps one degree of pain a player inflicted in his foe over the course of a career can be measured by...
Welcome back to Kerr Stadium for this afternoon's contest between Roanoke and Lynchburg. Just about better to get underway here. Lynchburg's going to put it in play. Lynchburg number nine in the nation, 12-0-2 overall and 6-0-2 in the ODAC. And they're currently third in the league behind Washington and Lee and Virginia Wesleyan. And the ball is played down and goes out, and it's going to be a throw-in for Lynchburg. And there's the throw-in played down by Roanoke. Heather Reynolds back there. Natalie Torres comes up to challenge as Roanoke tries to build a wall. Nice shell bell by Roanoke as they kick it out, looking for Carmen Graves, and it's defended well by Lynchburg. Now Roanoke tries to chip it over the defense and have Carmen Graves run after it. Kicked away by Lynchburg. Put back in the midfield area. Played down by Roanoke. And Lynchburg gets ahead there. And they have a shot here on Starbacher. They put the shot in and it's above the net, over the net, over the end line. It's going to be a goal kick for Roanoke. Carolyn Starbacher will put it in play. Sarbacher puts it down on the ground as the teams back off toward midfield. And Sarbacher puts it in. Played down on the field by Lynchburg. Poked away by Roanoke. Heather Reynolds staying in the back along with Sarah Dorrance. And the ball is kicked out over the benches. And it's going to be a throw in for Lynchburg on the far side of the field. And we have a timeout for an injury. And that's number 24, Sarah Dorrance. She's down right now. And looking at some stats for Rono College. They have 34 goals to 245 attempts. They've allowed 10 goals on 106 attempts. Sarah Dorrance is now walking off under her own power. And the teams are about ready to get back into action here. Roanoke has been averaging 18.8 .8 shots a game and only giving up 8.2 shots a game. Roanoke has 19 assists, and they've given up six. Roanoke has 75 corner kicks, and they've given up 43. Roanoke is averaging 2.62 goals per game and giving up 0 0.77 goals per game. And the ball now will be put back in play. And it comes down being played by Lynchburg with Natalie Torres marking and defending on the far side. Roanoke trying to get it up the far side. Rebecca Adams over there competing. And it's going to be a throw in for Roanoke on the far side in front of the benches. And the ball goes down on the midfield area. Natalie Torr is trying to play it. Uh, it comes wide to Lynchburg. And Heather Reynolds comes up and plays it. Ball to the midfield area. Hustling over after it. Carmen Graves. It goes out. It's going to be a throw in for Lynchburg. And Lynchburg now playing it back, back toward the midfield area. Natalie Torres down with it. Steph Parento after it. Comes to Lynchburg. Knocked down there by Roanoke. Heather Reynolds playing it. And now Lynchburg able to put some offensive pressure on Roanoke's defense. They send it wide. Sarah Dorrance tries to play it. And it's going to go out and be a throw in for Lynchburg. And there's your throw in. Lynchburg trying to turn and get a pressure on Roanoke's defense. Now this ball goes out, and it's going to be a throw in for Roanoke on the far side. And Roanoke plays it up the far side. And Lynchburg plays it back in their offensive end. Roanoke trying to play it down. Heather Reynolds trying to get it out of there. Rebecca Adams coming up to play it, and she kicks it ahead looking for Carmen Graves. 
And the ball is chipped ahead. Carmen Graves again after it. Off of Carmen Graves' body. Maybe she can get a shot on goal here. Not quite. And the ball is kicked out by Lynchburg. Over to the far side. Lynchburg now coming out with it. Roanoke able to play it back. And Lynchburg's goalie is going to come out and play it. And that's number 90, 99, Audrey Moore. Audrey Moore makes the play, and she'll take a goal kick. Natalie Torres plays it off her head. And Lynchburg now playing it wide on the near side. Carmen Graves coming up to defend, along with Heather Reynolds. And number 15, Maggie Dent. Maggie Dent came in the game for Sarah Dorrance. And Maggie Dent has a free kick here, and she puts her foot to it, tries to put it in front. Roanoke again trying to chip it behind the, the Lynchburg defense and get a shot on goal. Rebecca Adams there after it. Comes out, Natalie Torres trying to play it. Torres into the middle of Steph Parento. Parento can't control it. It's going to be out, and it's going to be a throw-in for Roanoke. And there's your throw-in, played down to Heather Reynolds, and she puts it in the center toward the goal. Played down, and Heather Reynolds went after it. And it's out the side again. It's going to be a throw-in for Roanoke on the far side. And there's the throw-in. Roanoke again trying to play it in front of the goal, chip it over the top. There's Carmen Graves. Carmen Graves heads it, and it's in the goal. And it deflected off Lynchburg. It's going to be an own goal, but the, the play was caused by number 18, Carmen Graves of Roanoke. And Roanoke's going to go ahead early in this match. 1-0, 38 remaining in the first half. Carmen Graves. And the ball played down by Lynchburg. Roanoke trying to defend it out. Now Lynchburg's going to have a throw in. The goal is being credited at this time by Carmen Graves with an assist from Rebecca Adams. And there's a save in the back there by Carolyn Sarbacher. And she'll play it. She's going to play it out. The team's back off toward midfield. 39-10 remaining in the first half. Roanoke up 1-0. Sarbacher lets it go. And Roanoke again trying to get it as it goes behind the Lynchburg defense. Steph Parento after it. Natalie Torres helping out. Ashley Barnes in there. Roanoke trying to defend it. Mark on the far side in front of their bench. And they kick the ball out, and it goes. And I'm joined now on color commentary and a little help by Reed Hall. Reed's nice enough to join me this afternoon. 38-26 remaining in the first half, and it's 1-0 Roanoke. Lynchburg has a throw in here. Reed, what have you seen so far? Seen very aggressive play between Lynchburg and Roanoke. They've always been really huge rivalries in the ODAC. And, uh, you know, when these two teams get, get, get together, they're always going to have high energy and physical play. And Lynchburg now playing it in front of the Roanoke goal. Roanoke trying to get it out of there. Mark and defend. Comes back to Sarbacher, and she makes the play on the ball, and she'll play it out. Nice alert play by Carolyn Sarbacher. And the ball comes out to midfield over the head of Carmen Graves. And Graves down with it. Ahead to Steph Parento looking for Rebecca Adams. And she's trying to leave it wide for Carmen Graves. As Graves is trying to take the ball behind the Lynchburg defense. Carmen Graves down the near side. Graves. And the ball is out. It's going to be off Rebecca Adams. And it's going to be a goal kick for Lynchburg. And this is number 99, Audrey Moore. She'll put it in play. Audrey Moore puts it in play, and Carmen Graves comes up to play it, tries to leave it for Rebecca Adams, and Rebecca Adams again kicking it wide for Carmen Graves. And I think it went a little bit too wide. Out 
Ashley Barnes plays it down. Carmen Graves on the offensive side there looking for Steph Perino. Perino trying to turn and leave it. Ashley Barnes in there. Barnes can't get it free. Comes Sin back out to the midfield area. Sorry, Brett. Cindy Satora had a really good look at the ball on the left wing here. Um, she just couldn't get that touch on her foot to get it past the defender. Ashley Barnes after it. As they continue to mark and defend, Maggie Dent up in the action. Played down by Jordan May and again. Carmen Graves trying to run after it and beat the, beat the Lynchburg defense down, get behind, and is kicked out by Lynchburg. It's going to be a throw in or a corner kick, maybe a corner kick for Roanoke here. Like Rebecca Adams is lining up to take a corner kick. You can see by the Roanoke girls here, they're lining up in position to take a corner kick. And let's see who's lining up down there. Ashley Barnes, Carmen Graves, Natalie Torres, Steph Parento, Cindy all Zator down in, in the front. As well. Cindy Satora down there. And there's the corner kick. And that's a little bit too close to the goal. Roanoke couldn't get to it. And it's going to go out the end line and be a goal kick for Lynchburg. And it's going to be put down by Lynchburg's number 13. And this is Rachel Sadowski. She'll take the kick. And she puts it out along the ground. And Roanoke comes up to try to play it. Cindy Satora. And the ball goes down the far side, and it's going to be out and a throw in for Lynchburg. It appears Bradner just kicked it out, so give her give her defense some time to reset and regroup so that uh, they can take this uh, offensive push by Lynchburg. And there's your throw in being played on the wide side, on the far side by Lynchburg. And they're trying to put it in front of the goal. Rono trying to mark. That looked like Maggie Dent putting it out of there. And Steph Pareto after it. Roanoke trying to turn the ball and get a run. Carmen Graves was after it. Now Lynchburg is going to get a free kick, looks like, right outside the goal box. And Lynchburg plays the free kick all the way back to Sarbacher over the top of everything and over the end line. It'll be a goal kick for Roanoke. Good idea by Lynchburg there, but the ball is placed about a foot, foot and a half, a little too high over the crossbar. I think Sarbacher might have had it, even if it had it been It looks like she had that spot look, covered. Look, look I mean, like she, she was, gonna she have was that anticipating look. the position of the ball, but the ball was just high from the kick. And Sarbacher plays it in. Cindy Satura down there battling for it. And it goes out. It's going to be a throw in for Lynchburg in front of the Roanoke bench. Played down on the field by Roanoke. Steph Perino trying to hustle after it. And the ball comes wide. Heather Reynolds over there. And the ball is out. And it's going to be a throw in for Roanoke. It looks like Heather Reynolds will do the honors. And it's thrown in, trying to looking for Natalie Torres. Ball comes down. Roanoke's going to play it. Carmen Graves wide on the near side. And the ball is taken away from Carmen Graves. And Heather Reynolds comes up and helps Carmen Graves defend it, Mark. And Lynchburg playing just outside the goal box here. Heather Reynolds gets the ball away. Sends it for Rebecca Adams, and it's sent back by Lynchburg. Rebecca Adams trying to recompete and get back in there. And now Roanoke plays it out. Jordan May over there in the midfield area. Both teams battling. Lynchburg comes back to control and put the ball back in their offensive end. Kicked away by Roanoke. Comes to the foot of Ashley Barnes. Barnes tries to leave it wide. Barnes leaves it to the far side of the field. Cindy Satora kicking it. Now it's Steph Pareto sending it down. And we have Cindy Satora running after it. And Lynchburg kicks it out. It's going to be a throw in for Roanoke as Lynchburg wants to set their defense in the back. And they throw it forward for Cindy Satora. And again, it's going to be kicked high in the air. And Roanoke trying to battle for it. Dupe comes away with it for Lynchburg. And it goes out over everything, and it's going to be a throw in for Lynchburg. Lynchburg throws it in. And there's a whistle, and it's going to be another throw in for Lynchburg. As the ball goes out, 32.07 remaining in the first half. Roanoke continues to lead 1-0. Free kick for Lynchburg over on the far side. They're going to try to put this in front of the goal. Carolyn Sarbacher back there anticipating. And the ball goes toward the box, and Sarbacher's going to play it nicely. 
Yeah, good, Allen. good stop by Starbacher. I wasn't too sold on the that they were going to shoot directly on goal. They had their players lined up like they were looking for a cross cross play, but sure enough, they shot right at us. Rebecca Adams puts it down on the ground to Carmen Graves. Carmen Graves trying to turn and look for teammates. Rebecca Adams was in there. Heather Reynolds plays it toward the midfield area. Maggie Dent with a nice solid ball toward the offensive area, and Carmen Graves running after it. And it's kicked back to Lynchburg's goalie, Ashley Moore, and she plays it out. They get it over the head of Carmen Graves and try to send it back, and Maggie Dent sends it right back. Now Heather Reynolds trying to get to it. Maggie Dent after it as it's down the near side, deep into the Lynchburg offensive zone and the Roanoke defensive zone, and Maggie Dent just puts it out. 30-50 remaining in the first half. one nothing Roanoke. Lynchburg playing it deep in their offensive end. Now they're getting it in front of the goal area. Roanoke trying to get it out of there. And they do. Briefly. And the ball is going to go back for a nice two-hop room service bounce to Sarbacher. And she's going to play it. Good clear by uh, Ashley Barnes there. And then the, the weak shot back to Sarbacher prevented a pre prevented an in-close shot from Lynchburg. And we have Carmen Graves playing a deep ball, trying to play it down with her head. And now it comes back to Heather Reynolds. Reynolds going to play it back to Maggie Dent. Maggie Dent trying to send it up. Natalie Torres got a foot on it. Steph Parento now trying to turn. She leaves it back for Pierce Bradner. Bradner sends it up the near side and far side for Cindy Satora. And Cindy Satora can't quite reach it. Running after it. And now Lynchburg kicks it out. And it's going to be a throw in for Roanoke. And we have another whistle. Referee uh, wants a reset there. Cindy got a good jump on there before the throw in. I think she just keeping fair play here. I think we had too many balls on the field. The young lady that oh, really? Bradner yeah. is going to throw it in from back here. So Pierce Bradner, they're trying to leave it for Rebecca Adams. Cindy Satora over there competing. And Ronald gets ahead on it and it goes out. And it's going to be a throw in for Lynchburg. Lynchburg throws it in. Roanoke immediately trying to mark and defend. Steph Parento. Parento. Down there. And it comes off. Looks like Natalie Torres got that one away. And Roanoke now playing it in the midfield area. And Lynchburg plays <coughs> it back and it gets away. And here comes Carmen Graves. And Ashley Moore is going to have to come out and play that ball to keep it away from Carmen Graves. And she kicks it out. And it's going to be a throw in for Roanoke. And it's going to be Heather Reynolds on the near side, looking immediately for Carmen Graves. Graves puts it down, gets between two defenders. Ball back for Graves. And she tried to leave it. And again, Roanoke is able to put it in there. Rebecca, Rebecca Adams. Adams. Rebecca Adams able to put it in behind Ashley Moore. And we've got a 2 nothing score in favor of Roanoke with 28-41 to go in the first half. Great start this afternoon for the Maroons. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great second effort by Rebecca Adams right there. She she got, took the first shot and it deflected off the Lynchburg player's leg and went past them, and she just continued on until until she got that second effort and put it right in the back of the net. And Roanoke College is going to play it in the back again as the, we're back underway. Roanoke trying to keep the ball out of their defensive end. Now playing in the midfield area. This is Rebecca Adams again, and she left puts it down for Cindy Satora, and Cindy Satora may be behind the Lynchburg defense, and the ball goes out, and I believe it's going to be a throw-in for Lynchburg. Nope, throw-in for Roanoke. Satora putting it down on the ground for Rebecca Adams. Rebecca Adams tried to put it on her foot and turn. Lynchburg able to mark and defend that time and get it away, and again, the ball is kicked out. This time a throw-in for Lynchburg. Played back, Cindy Satora after it. Richmond actually has a setup of our replay of the last goal if you want to hey. break it down, Brett. And she tried to leave it. And again, Roanoke is able to put to it in Rebecca there. Adams and Rebecca she's able Adams. To get the ball behind Rebecca Ashley Moore Adams and put able it in the back of the net. Behind Ashley Moore. And give Roanoke a 2-0 lead with 27-40 remaining in the first half. As we have some subs. And Roanoke now playing it back in their back defensive end. Down the far side, Cindy Satora. Trying to clear it out. Maggie Dent down there. 
Rebecca Adams. And it comes to Lynchburg, and they're trying to play it in front. Roanoke trying to defend and help out Carolyn Sarbacher. Ashley Barnes leaves it for Maggie Dent. Maggie Dent tries to send it out. I would say right now, Reed, three of the important players for Roanoke the rest of this game are going to be Jordan May, Pierce Bradner, and Maggie Dent, and Sarah Dorrance if she can get back in there. Of course, that's four, not three, but I'll learn I how to count later. <laughs> I believe that the Roanoke defense is probably going to be a key factor for at least the rest of this half. We got a two nothing cushion. Um, two nothing cushion is also the worst cushion to have because you feel comfortable as soon as they score. It's still a one goal game, but we can see that uh, the Roanoke defensive line is is holding pretty strong here. They've only allowed one to two shots, I believe, on goal for uh, Lynchburg. And Roanoke is sending it up the far side, looking for Cindy, Cindy Satora. Roanoke has been able to chip high balls over the the. Uh, the Lynchburg defense thus far this afternoon and beat them to the balls and put pressure on Ashley Moore. Yeah, they've been they've been doing their um their their chip shots a little uh, better than than last week and you can see it, uh, Cindy Satori looks like she's back to 100% after nursing that ankle injury back. She still has the brace on the ankle, but she's uh her speed looks like it's back to 100% if not very close. Pierce Bradner trying to mark and defend on the far side, getting some help from Jordan. Jordan May and Lynchburg playing it down and the ball now again in the Roanoke defensive end Rebecca Adams coming back to compete ball goes down trying to play it in the middle and get it to the far side Carmen Graves after it Natalie Torres was trying to get a run there Roanoke couldn't quite control the ball and again, the defenseman helping out Sarbacher, trying to keep the ball off the Lynchburg feet in the scoring area. You see a corner kick right here for uh, Lynchburg as it went off the upper body of uh, Jordan May about, uh, past, the past the end line for the run of zone. And we have a tremendous glare as the corner kick goes from the far side, so we have no idea who's taking it, but here it comes. See if Rono can get it out of there. Sarbacher. Sarbacher got it down, and Roanoke got it out. Great punch by Sawbarker. It didn't go very far, but it went right to one of the Roanoke defenders, and they cleared it out for her. And Heather Reynolds trying to clear it all the way down, and it comes to a Lynchburg player. Heather Reynolds bumped, and there's a whistle. A little too much extracurriculars there, Brett. They're going to give uh, Lynchburg the free kick. Heather Reynolds in there competing, and this looks like number 18 for Lynchburg, and that's Nikki Rhodes taking this free kick. Rhodes. Trying to put it toward teammates, and it goes almost over everybody. Being kicked deep in the Roanoke defensive zone on the far side by four or five players. Coming out toward the middle again, and Carolyn Sarbacher hustling after it. Couldn't quite get to it. Sarbacher couldn't quite get to it, and she tried to save the corner, but uh, Lynchburg has another corner kick opportunity this time. Yeah, this, it's gonna, this looks like Jen Snyder, number 12, on the near side taking the corner kick. And we'll see how the ball comes. Sarbacher and teammates trying to pay attention, keep this two-goal lead. 23-40 remaining in the first half. Looked like uh, the corner kick attempt went off the side of uh, Snyder's foot and went directly out of bounds. So it'll be a goal kick for Roanoke here. And Carol and Sarbacher will put it in play as the teams back off toward midfield. Let's see if Roanoke can get the ball turned around this time and play with it in their offensive zone. Sarbacher puts it on the ground. And here she goes. Coming toward Carmen Graves and Steph Pareto. And they're sending it wide for Carmen Graves. And it's going to go a little too wide and be a throw in for Lynchburg. Nice idea by Roanoke. Played down the midfield area by Lynchburg. Heather Reynolds comes up to defend and tries to center the ball. Natalie Torres comes up trying to play it. Played away by Lynchburg. Rebecca Adams coming up and competing against Lynchburg. And there's a long chip by Lynchburg that's going to go all the way back to Sarbacher. And she'll play this one. Carolyn Sarbacher from the back. Lynchburg running up. And Sarbacher's going to go ahead and pick it up. And Sarbacher puts it back in play. And here we go. Comes down to Jen Snyder. And Heather Reynolds is battling with Jim Snyder down the near side. We have a whistle. Referee line judge called it out, and it'll be a Roanoke throw in. Roanoke throw in from deep in their defensive end. 
And it comes down to Lynchburg and Carmen Graves trying to play it. Again, this game seems to be quite physical. Most of Roanoke's Odax matches have been rather physical. Lynchburg got a foot on it then right in front of the goal, but it went wide. And it's going to be a goal kick for Roanoke. Lynchburg subbing in now. Kara Schaefer's coming in for number 18 of Lynchburg, Nikki Rhodes. And Starbacher puts it in play. As the teams back off through the midfield area trying to play. And again, Roanoke immediately on defense. As it goes wide, Heather Reynolds after it. Heather Reynolds hustles back and gets to it. See a throw in from Lynchburg after and the uh, deflection out of bounds by Heather Reynolds. And there's the throw in, and Carmen Graves is after it. Kicked free by Roanoke down the near side. Rebecca Adams after it. She can't quite get it. As Lynchburg again keeping the pressure on and keeping the ball in their offensive zone. Now they're going to reverse it and go to the wide side of the field. Cindy Satora over there. And the ball is headed down by Roanoke and Cindy Satora was after it, but it's out and it's going to be a throw in for Lynchburg right in front of the midfield area. And it goes down. Being played now on the turf by Lynchburg. Roanoke trying to mark and kick the ball out. Keeping it out from the goal area. Lynchburg trying to force it in. It's going to come to Sarbacher, and she's going to play it. 20-22 remaining in the first half. 2-0 Roanoke. 25 minutes of play has been played, and um, I wouldn't be surprised within the next few minutes if we start giving uh, Roanoke's front line a break just in case we need them for the second half. Carmen Graves tried to play that one off her head. Comes down to Lynchburg. They're playing it again wide. This is number 27, Mary Beyer over there. And they play it wide. Now they're going to get behind the Roanoke defense and put the ball toward the middle. Kicked out by Roanoke. Steph Parento after it. Parento trying to kick it, kick it wide. Got it to Rebecca Adams. And she tried to send it to Cindy Satura and Roanoke again. When you put that much offensive pressure on, it's a little bit easy to get behind their defense. Satura trying to leave it for Carmen Graves, and Lynchburg is able to play it away from Carmen Graves. Lynchburg's going to turn now. Heather Reynolds coming up trying to defend. And the ball is taken around Heather Reynolds. And a nice play by Roanoke's Maggie Dent. Maggie Dent getting the ball off the Lynchburg feet. Carmen Graves with it to Rebecca Adams. Rebecca Adams tried to send it back to Carmen Graves for a run. Couldn't keep the ball free. Maggie Dent's going to send it up. Carmen Graves, midfield area. Rebecca Adams off her head, trying to leave it for Carmen Graves. Carmen Graves trying to outrace Lynchburg players. Off the body of Carmen Graves. We have a whistle. And I believe he's calling a free kick because of a handball. I'm not exactly sure what that call was. I think he might have called a, a handball or some, some foul for Roanoke. It actually looks like Carmen took it off of her chin. She was, she was grabbing her chin afterwards, but... Um, nevertheless, free kick for Lynchburg. And Lynchburg sends it all the way back down. And again, the pressure is there. They're now behind the Roanoke defense. And this is number 10, Angela Bosco. She just let it roll right off the back end line. Uh, Going to be a goal kick for Roanoke. And Roanoke able to play that one away. And Carolyn Sarbacher is going to play it in. 18-15 remaining in the first half. 2-0 Roanoke. And Starbacher plays it out. Heather Reynolds coming up. Carmen Gray is playing it wide. Heather Reynolds going to send it down. Rebecca Adams. Adams trying to send it for Carmen Graves. And Lynchburg got there first. Which is not something you normally say when you're talking about Carmen Graves. Yeah, Carmen normally has the speed, but Alexis Jensen's doing a very good job of defending her so far in the first half. And again, Lynchburg playing playing at the midfield area. And Maggie Dent, since coming in for Sarah Dorrance, has played excellent defensively. And again, she kicks it out away. And Rono trying to clear it so they can reset. And the ball's out. Going to be a throw in for Rono.
And Heather Reynolds is going to throw it in. Nope, she's going to leave it for Maggie Dent. Maggie Dent's going to throw it in. Looking for Rebecca Adams. Throw goes over everybody. And Lynchburg's going to play it all the way back to their goalie, Audrey Moore. Moore plays it out. Ball in the midfield area. And Pierce Bradner plays it all the way down, and Rebecca Adams went after it, but she couldn't quite reach it. Played down by Roanoke. That looks like Ashley Barnes over there. Carmen Graves now poking it for teammates, and Roanoke sends it all the way up, and it's going to go all the way back to Audrey Moore and be played in the Lynchburg goal. Roanoke able in the last few minutes to put a little bit more offensive pressure on Lynchburg. Natalie Torres tried to reach that goal kick. And Roanoke playing it out. Steph Pareto trying to play it up for Rebecca Adams. Adams couldn't quite get to it. Natalie Torres in the back. Maggie Dent back there. Maggie Dent trying to get the ball off the Lynchburg feet. Lynchburg tries to chip it ahead off a of Roanoke head. Natalie Torres playing it out. And it comes down. And that's Roanoke's number 18, Carmen Graves, playing it. And Lynchburg trying to center it again in front. And Carolyn Starbacher stops out, steps out and makes the, makes the play. Just looking at the stats here, Brett. Lynchburg's coming in this game 12-0. We all know that. But uh, so far this season, they've only allowed two goals this entire season. And uh, I don't know if they're quite used to the situation they're in this thus far in this game, mm. allowing two goals already just to Roanoke. Might be, might be a surprise and a different – Different I mean, mindset for them. Within the last six games, they've outscored their opponents. Rebecca Adams is sending it wide. And Roanoke was running after it, and it's kicked out by Lynchburg so they can reset their defense, and Roanoke's going to have a throw in over in front of the benches. Within the last six games, Brett, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. The, the Lynchburg team has outscored their opponents 26 to nothing. So this 2 nothing deficit here is uh, definitely something that's putting pressure on them. In another 14 minutes, we might want to go down and listen to Dr. Todd Olson's halftime speech because it's going to be different than anything they've heard before. Might be a little different this ge this game. Roanoke playing it down. Again, trying to chip it over the Lynchburg defense. Rebecca Adams down there after it. Lynchburg kicks it out. It's going to be a throw in for Roanoke. And that looks like Kara Capel over there with the throw in. Roanoke trying to play it down and get it toward the goal. And it goes out, and it's going to be another throw in for Roanoke. And once again, it's going to be Kara Capel. Capel puts it into Ashley Barnes. Barnes trying to turn. Knocked down. Ball kicked out by Lynchburg. Throw in Roanoke. Looks like Kara Capel again over there on the far side. Picked up in the air as Steph Parento was looking to run after it and possibly head it toward the goal. A little bit ahead of Steph. She couldn't quite get to it. Ball goes out again. Throw in. Roanoke. And Roanoke throws it in. They're looking for Rebecca Adams down the far side. And again, Lynchburg quickly punches it out. And Kara Capel is going to throw this one in. Steph Parento. And the ball goes back off to Steph Parento, and this is going to be a Lynchburg throw in. Have a whistle. And now play will resume. There's your throw in. Played off the head over there by Roanoke as Roanoke again is trying to keep some pressure on. Down the far side there. Now Lynchburg's coming back with it. Played out by Natalie Torres nicely as she marks and defends. She gets it to Steph Parento. Parento. And it comes to Lynchburg, and it's sent all the way down. Roanoke in the back, running after it. Carolyn Starbacher comes up to play it. Roanoke trying to reverse field and get it in the center there. Lynchburg able to control it. It's going to come down now to Heather Reynolds looking for Carmen Graves. Graves sends it up. Rebecca Adams taps it ahead of the Lynchburg defense. And Ashley Moore is going to run out from goal and play this one. And she sends it down. And it's off the foot of Carmen Graves as Graves immediately marks to defend and keep pressure on Lynchburg. Graves really after this one. 
Carmen Gray is wide. Down to one knee. Now Natalie Torres helps Carmen Graves. Natalie Torres pokes the ball away from Lynchburg. 